I'm Judy Tayabji, and I don't always dress like this, but I will be taking my granddaughter trick-or-treating this year. So I thought, might as well get a bit of a jump on the season, especially because my last editorial on proportional representation brought out a lot of trolls. So I thought I should come out of the closet, the broom closet that is, and uh, put my witchy ways to use for a second proportional representation video, which is what this is, a follow-up. So if you missed the first one, what I was talking about was my concerns for fraud in the proportional representation vote, which is a mail-in ballot. And what do I have here? My ballot. Mine, no one else's, and I do know the rules, and I have followed the rules, but I suggested in the last one that I could actually collect a lot of these out of recycling and find a way to fill them in and send them in if I wanted to, but that I wouldn't because that would be fraught. So that comment actually got so many of you not necessarily you watching, but so many of the people on social media, contacting Elections BC and reporting me for whatever they thought I was doing by pointing out security issues, that Elections BC had to investigate. And I had a very good talk with them today, and they told me that having investigated my comments, that I have not conf committed an offense. They did mention that they're very concerned about the integrity of the mail-in ballot process and I believe that they are very concerned. So they told me about all the ways in which they're safeguarding the ballot process, although they hold back a few so that not all of us know how we could possibly get around it. And I think they've done their best. But I have to ask you this, if mail-in ballots are such a great system, why have a general election at the polling station then? Clearly, at some level, we recognize that we have to show our identification to a human being, eyeball to eyeball, because it matters to make sure that we are who we say we are when we're electing a government. So two things. First of all, I stand by my comment. When we are wanting to fundamentally restructure how we do business in this province, when it comes to electing government, we need to be eyeball to eyeball with someone from Elections BC and they can have an easier time doing a better job of taking care of the ballots. The second thing is that in this voter's guide, you will see the ways that you can fill out your ballot, your ballot, and you'll see that if you're in favor of first past the post, which is our current system, you only fill out the top. And if you fill out the bottom, there's going to be some discretion exercised about what happens next. For example, political parties are going to be selecting some of the MLAs after the election if we have proportional representation. Now there's another reason why I'm dressed as a witch. In 1994, the NDP nominated Sam Wagar in a by-election to represent them. Turns out, he was a witch. And so they cancelled his nomination. Now, speaking on behalf of all witches everywhere, that doesn't seem very democratic. So how much do you trust a political party to appoint your representative? I don't. And therefore, I will be voting no on this ballot. My ballot. <laughs> That's my opinion. What's yours?